Okay, everybody, we are live out here in the Publix Kitchen this morning. And you know, here in Jacksonville, we love a lot of things. We love our river, we love our sports teams, we love our barbecue. And that's why we are back once again celebrating the 10th annual Daniel Backyard Barbecue Championships. Look at the trophy over there. That is spectacular. So we have our friends here. We have Julia Kalinsky with Daniel, as well as the Jones family from Jones in for Barbecue. You guys are going to give us some tips, some information in just a little bit, uh, Sandy and Danny. But we're going to start with you about Daniel and about the 10th year of doing this. I've had the honor of being a barbecue judge for the past couple of years. It is spectacular, I will say that. Anybody from the public can go out and join. Absolutely. The Jacksonville Backyard Barbecue is presented by Stubbs uh, Legendary Barbecue Sauce this year, and it's going to be at Tailgaters Parking downtown. We're going to have lots of samples. We're going to have a kid zone. Kids get in free. Uh, we're going to have some live music. Mama Blue and Liberty Blues Band is coming out. Um, and just plenty of, of fun for everybody. And of course, the best part is it benefits the Glen Cook Memorial Scholarship, which helps homeless teens uh, get their education. So it's really, really a wonderful cause. We've given away about $100,000 worth of scholarships so far. That is spectacular. I mean, Daniel Kids is such a centerpiece in our community in the nonprofit sector, doing yes. so much for the amazing children that might not have the resources that everybody else has. Absolutely. Want to get to you two. Uh, so, husband and wife team here? Yes. All right. What are we making? Obviously ribs, but you have a special touch to it. We're going to show you how to do pro ribs right in your own backyard. All right. So we start with a St. Louis cut rib, and it's nothing more than a spare rib that's cut down to the longest bone. And a tip that you need to remember is to pull this membrane off. You'll notice right. there's this silver skin if you've ever bitten to one, and it, it it's it tough. kind of chewy. That's yeah. right. And so it renders down and just pull that right off. Right. And then we do a couple of different layers of flavor on ours. We have two different types of rubs. Our first one has a little more heat to it. Okay. So we're going to put a little layer of that all over front and back. And then we're also going to take our second one, has a little little uh, sweeter, a little honey in it. It's a honey rub. You can take any commercial rub, Vic, and make it your own. For instance, mm -hmm. you get something off the shelf like stubs or something, you want to add a little heat or a little a little sweet. You can use like a granulated honey or even possibly a paprika okay. just to make it your own. All right, there you go. And Once hubby we, is packing it in, making sure that it all you, sticks. It might be called a rub, but you press it in. Okay. You do not want to rub it. <laughs> I like it, it. Will. So one of the things, now we're going to just put it right on the smoker at about 235 to 250, and it's going to go for about three hours. Three hours. Just let it smoke. Don't open it, let it smoke. At that point, Another little tip to make it a little caramelized and give it that mahogany flavor, we'll take uh, the rib after three hours, and we're going to put it down on a bed of brown sugar, Ooh. honey, and butter. Ooh, we're going to yes. wrap it tight, another hour in that smoker. So safe. And then you're so going to bring it out. About four hours now. About four hours. <laughs> OK. You can, at that point, let it sit, put it down in a cooler. Here's a great tip. You can do this several hours ahead of time, wrap it in a, pa wrap it in a beach towel, Put it right down in an empty cooler, and it's going to be just as hot four hours later. Oh, I love it. So can people come out and taste your food? Absolutely. We're going to have plenty to give away. There's going to be a People's Choice contest. Um, and that's one thing that we love to do, because we'll have lots of different food and lemonade and all yes. kinds of things going on. Wonderful. And it's a, it's a competition. There are some great cooks out there. All right. Well, best of luck to you two. Jones in for barbecue. And then, Julia, thank, thank you. you so much for coming in. Can we dig in? Absolutely. This is the best product. Four that hours is. right there. Four hours. And one thing... Um, the details are right now on the screen. So, really quickly, if you want to come out, it's open to the public. It is... April the 6th, the Saturday. Come out there, support a very good cause. There Thank you, you all three of you for coming in. Thank and you. And we will be right Thank back. You. Here we go. Look at that. There you go.